Hi, I'm Scott with Practivet, here to talk to you about IV fluid therapy. An average hospitalized pet receives two to three days of fluid therapy, and the typical patient on fluids gets walked three to four times per day. Most often these pets are disconnected from the fluid admin set, the catheter or T-port is capped, and the exposed end of the fluid admin set is protected with a capped needle. The cost associated with this traditional method is about a dollar per walk, or three to four dollars per day. The microclave is a closed system that immediately closes after disconnect and does not get capped for patient walks. The patient end of the IV line is then lured onto the swabbable microclave Y site to protect the exposed end. We call this combination our no capping protocol that saves the hospital money, the technician time, and protects the patient from catheter related bloodstream infections. I'd like to address two concerns that you may have using microclave technology. One is that you're using lure slip and are concerned about secure connections. And two, you feel like you need to cap your catheter when the patient goes out to walk because they're walking in a yard where other patients defecate. Clave technology is designed to allow lure slip, but you must make a one quarter turn once inserted to get a secure connection, otherwise it is likely to become disconnected. The following animation will show you how the microclave utilizes a dedicated internal fluid pathway that protects the fluid pathway from contaminants on the outside of the device. We recommend you swab the device to mechanically remove debris from the swabbable surface, but as you'll see, the fluid never comes in contact with contaminated areas. As the access lure contacts the sterile silicone surface and begins to compress the septum, a dynamic seal is created and the internal blunt cannula begins to pass through the split septum. Not until the silicone is compressed and the windows of the cannula become exposed in the internal diameter of the access lure is the fluid path accessed. This creates the dedicated internal fluid path where at no point does the exterior of the access lure, split septum, or housing come in contact with the fluid path. When the access lure is removed, the septum returns to cover the cannula and closes the fluid path once again. Thank you for taking the time to learn how microclave can improve patient outcomes while saving you time and money.